Hi, my name is Jacob, and this is my NUN experience in Dublin, Ireland. Northeastern had always been the school I'd wanted to go to. I'd visited the campus multiple times, and it was the only school I applied to. I wanted the normal college experience, you know, enter Northeastern as a freshman, make friends, and explore Boston with the rest of my class. So when I got my letter of acceptance to Northeastern, I was excited beyond belief. As I read the letter, that excitement turned into curiosity and a little bit of confusion, because I had heard of the NUN program, but I didn't really know it too well yet. Through some research, I went on the NUN website and even watched a couple of digital storytelling projects. And the further I looked into the NUN, the more excited I became to go abroad for my first semester of college. I had two choices, Ireland or Greece. And through some strategic thinking, I chose Ireland because I was going to be on campus at a school. Not only would I get to befriend other NUN students, but I would also get to meet and work with University College of Dublin students. Coming into the airport, I saw friends I met at PDO3, which was the NUN orientation, and it started to hit me. The kind of journey I was about to embark on would change me in many ways. Getting to UCD and organizing the flat with all my flatmates took a lot of planning and organization. IKEA and Amazon really helped us with all of our bed sheets and appliances we needed around the kitchen and bedrooms. Our local grocery stores, Tesco and Centra, allowed us to stock our fridge and freezer with lots of food. Time management was huge when it came to cooking, getting work done, and making it to practice on time. We made sure to pick up all of our cleaning supplies we needed as well. Cooking can get messy. The amazing part about being in a European country is that you are able to visit other countries cheap. Ryanair flights to London are around 15 euro. So realizing the amazing opportunities we had and with some strategic thinking and planning, my group of friends planned a trip to London. Let me tell you, London was amazing. The food was great, the scenery was amazing, and on top of all that, I had an awesome time with some really good friends. I even got to meet up with some friends from back home who were in NU in London. Flying was not the only type of traveling I did. Thanks to the excellent planning of the IC, the whole program took a trip to County Clare. We visited a chocolate factory and even went into Alwy Caves. We took hikes and at the end of the trip, we went to the famous Cliffs of Moher. The view from the cliffs were breathtaking. The weather at the time was perfect and provided a vibe that paired well with the magnificent aesthetic. Of the cliffs. Throughout all the trips I went on and schoolwork I completed, I had been participating with another part of UCD. I had joined the boat club at UCD and rode with the team for my time in Ireland. The guys on the team were welcoming and motivating. They helped me push myself on the erg, in the weight room, and on the water. Rowing in Ireland was something awesome. It helped me stay fit and gave me a new perspective on the sport that I love. Just like learning new day-to-day -day vocabulary in Ireland, I also had to learn all new vocabulary in the boat from the coxswain. I also needed to adapt a different technique than I was used to back where I rode in the States. Dublin is an extraordinary city, and adjusting to life here was not difficult. Living on my own with four amazing roommates in a flat in Dublin is going to be a part of my life I will never forget. If it weren't for my hard work in school and amazing support from my family, I wouldn't have been able to embark on this journey. Thank you so much.